everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of vlogmas i hope you are all doing very well it is actually currently 11 a.m i am still in my jammers i'm just running myself a bath so you may hear that in the background um leo come back from his dad's last night and he ended up being sick all night um so yeah he's got a sickness bug so he is not feeling too good at all so we've been up most of the night so we've literally just been chilling in bed this morning I just led watching a film, I watched Chalet Girl, um, and I forgot how much I love that film, it's so good. Um, I've watched it so many times, but it's the first time I've watched it this year, and yeah, it just reminded me how much I love it. Um, so he has actually just led watching a film now on the TV. Um, so I've just wanted myself a nice bath. It's just gonna be a very, very chill day. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to vlog. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be in the house and I'm really hoping that he starts to feel better. He has actually managed to get some just plain dry bread down and that has stayed down. So I'm kind of hoping that is all the sickness now. Um, but yeah, obviously he's still feeling not great. So he's just led in bed watching a movie. So I'm going to have a nice bath and it's just going to be a very, very chilled day at home. Um, probably lots of films. So yeah, I thought I would still pick up the camera and vlog. Obviously, I don't know how much I'll get, um, depending how Leo feels throughout the day. But yeah, so just a very kind of natural vlog again. Um, and I'll see what happens as we go through today. So I just went in myself a nice bath and I've put in this. So this is actually a sleep um, bubble bath, but I just love the smell of it. I just find it really, really relaxing. So this is the Feather and Down Sleep Nourishing Bath Soak. Um, and it has chamomile extracts and primrose oil. Um, so yeah, I normally just have this in the evening if I have a bath before bed because it's just really, really relaxing. Um, but yeah, after kind of not sleeping that great last night, um, I thought I would have a nice bath with this in now while Leo is just watching a film. So yeah, going to have a nice relaxing bath um, and then get ready and then probably watch another film. So I just had a really nice bath. Leo was watching a film. So yeah, I just kind of um, led in there and just really kind of relaxed while I knew he was watching the film. I feel so bad when they're poorly. It's horrible, isn't it? Because you literally can't do anything. Um, the good thing is he has kept some bread down. He had some plain bread, um, which he asked for, and he's kept that down and he is um, keeping water down now. So I'm really hoping that all the sickness was in the night and that now he can kind of, obviously he's still feeling really rubbish and really tired. He said his tummy still hurts. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that it, he will kind of be on the mend and that it was just going to be like a 24 hour bug. Um, so we will see. So I've washed my hair. I'm literally not bothered to dry it. i um, just going to let it dry naturally today because obviously we're just going to be in the house. I did have a um christmas party but for later for him which obviously we won't go to it was just at a local community center and his other cousins were going um it was completely free to book you just had to go on and get yourself a ticket so i did get a ticket for him because they had a magician there which he previously had for one of his birthdays and he absolutely loved him um he puts on such a great show so it is a shame, but obviously we won't be going. Leo needs to kind of just rest. And obviously we don't want to pass it on to anyone else. So I am also off work. So today is Monday. I should be in work today and tomorrow. Um, Leo was going to go to my sister's. Um, she was going to look after him for me while I was at work so he could play with my niece and nephew. But obviously he can't go there because then he'll pass on the bug to them. Um, and obviously they don't want the bug, especially before Christmas. Um, and yeah, and obviously when they're poorly, they just want their mum, don't they? So I did call my work this morning. Um, my work are really great. They're really understanding. So I am at home today. So yeah, I've just got a real chilled day. Um, obviously I'm quite tired because in the night I was up cleaning sick. So I've got some bedding to, that's in the washing machine. I need to get it out actually and hang out to dry. Um, I want to wash the towels and things like that. So I'm going to try and get all that done. And then it's just going to be a day of, I think, watching films. I've already watched one film. 
laid in bed this morning and watched Chalet Girl. Um, absolutely love that film. So I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea now. I literally just looked into the bedroom and Leo had fallen asleep watching the film. Um, so that's going to be really good for him. Hopefully after a good sleep, um, he will feel a bit better because obviously he was awake closing the night too. So I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I need to get some lunch soon as well. I think it's about half 12, one o'clock now. So I'm going to get myself some lunch. Um, luckily, I, I've already made my lunch because I made myself some pasta to take to work. So that is in the fridge. It's a nice, easy lunch for me. I haven't got to make anything. I'll probably sit down, might watch another film, probably put something on Netflix on um, and just chill. Um, yeah, so apart from a few things like washing the bed in, it's going to be a very, very chill day. So I don't know what's going to be in this vlog to share with you guys. But I am going to continue to do Vlogmas. Um, so yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. So I got myself a nice cup of tea. I'm just going to put the Christmas lights on um, and put the TV on. Leo is still upstairs. So he hasn't even been down to see the elf yet. Um, this is the toilet paper that the elves did yesterday for when we got home. This is now in the living room. And it looks like he's got letter there so maybe a letter from santa and it says this time next week it will be christmas p.s santa says hi so yeah i'm sure he will come and see that at some point but yeah he's just sleeping upstairs so i'm just going to pop on the christmas lights put my cup of tea down absolutely love sitting with the christmas tree lights and i'm also going to put the fire lights on just makes it feel nice and nice and cozy and then I suppose I have my advent calendar so what day are we on today today we are on the 18th so this is my calendar here where's number 18 here's number 18 oh I've got Christmas cracker Gonna be inside. Christmas pudding. Mmm. Yummy. So I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my cup of tea now. I actually think I can just hear Leo moving around, so he might be coming down. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that no one else goes down with it, especially in the week leading up to Christmas. It's just not very nice, is it? But there's so many bugs around, so hopefully it will just be a 24 hour thing. Um, and he can enjoy the rest of the week leading up to Christmas. I can hear him. Let me see if he's coming down. You coming, Leo? Yeah. Do you say your tummy feels better? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Not, um, no. Upstairs, like, if I get up, it gets kicked in. Yeah, it's just fine. Maybe it's where you've had a nice rest. Have you seen the elf? Yeah. It's the same as that. I've got to Again. What, the tissue? Yeah. The tissue's the same. So that says, stinks, stank, stunk, jingle bells, your peeps, smells, or Christmas pee, or Christmas pee. Tinkle all the way. All I want for Christmas is poo. Walking around the toilet bowl, plop. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Have you seen the new sign? It says, this time next week, it will be Christmas. P.S. Santa says hi. Have you seen what is he's got? It looks like you've got a letter. What is this? What is it? I don't know. You'll have to open it. Two. Has it got your name on the letter? Yeah. I wonder. What is it? So Leo's got a letter. And look, it's got the North Pole stamp. Yeah, it says it on the back. And then on the front, it's got your name, isn't it? A letter high. It's got Leo's name and our address. It says, from the workshop of Father Christmas, North Pole Airmail. And who's up there? December 2023, 9am, Priority Mail, First Class Post. And what else have you got with that? It's a little sack. Can you open it? Coins, isn't it? It's really hard. Does it need to pull? Yeah, probably. Let me put the camera down and I'll try and open it. Yeah, I've managed to undo it for you. I wonder what's going to be inside. What do you think it's going to be? Whoa. What are they? 
What does it say? One polar penny. Wow. Wow, it's got Father Christmas on it. It says official currency of Christmas. Bank of the North Pole. Is the other one the same? Yeah. So that means you've got two polar pennies. Wow, Leo, North Pole money. Your nice little red bag, you have to put them back in there and keep them nice and safe. Now you're going to have to open up the wax stamp Look of the North Pole. That's really cool, that wax stamp. It's so pretty, coins. isn't it? These coins are weird. Have you ever seen these? I've before? never seen them, no. You're so this lucky. Like Are you going to open up your letter? Paper. What's it say? It says, Certificate of Good Behaviour. Proudly awarded to Leo Bartlam for your outstanding behaviour this year. Well done. Father Christmas. That means you're on the nice list, Leo. I knew you would be. You're such a good boy, aren't you? Yes. Can you get it off? Delta pen. Hey, look, it's like a special pen. Is it? See, oh. It's like a pointy one, isn't Whoa! it? <gasps> wow! Sun it's a proper raining. picture. It's a proper photo, Leo. Wow. You're going to have to keep that really safe. We got a muscle wow. So, Leo's asked me to read his letter. You ready, Leo? Yep. It says, Dear Leo, I wanted to take a moment away from organising all of this year's presents to send you a quick message. It's very busy here in the North Pole workshop, but I always enjoy sitting down to write to well-behaved children like you. I love visiting your home. It's a lovely place. And this Christmas, I can't wait to come back to deliver presents to you, your neighbours and all of your friends, including your good friend, Joey. I hear that you've been a very good boy this year, Leo. That is great news, and I'm very pleased to hear that. One thing Mrs. Claus and I always say is that a good boy makes the world go round. And it's true, you and your friends will one day grow up to be big like me and make important decisions for everybody. You make Mrs. Claus, the elves, our reindeers and myself extremely happy with your fine behaviour. Well done, Leo. As you have been very good this year, I will have to try my hardest to get you some of the presents you have asked for. I hear you would like a boxing bag. What? Well, that's true. Schleck figures. That's true. Fish toys. That's true as well. And a metal detector. True. What a great choice. I'll speak to my wonderful helpers and see what we can do. But you'll have to promise me that you'll continue being a good boy today too. I will. I can't believe how quickly you're growing up now that you're an eight year old. <laughs> Your face. Time flies when you're being good. It's been wonderful to write to you. Keep up the good behaviour and I look forward to visiting your home this Christmas. With lots of love, Father Christmas. How exciting! Leo's lovely letter. Did you enjoy that, Leo? Yeah. You've been such a good boy. I'm going to show you something. Okay. So I'll show you this. It's so, so lovely. How lovely, Leo. So he's got his lovely letter from the North Pole. Your good behaviour certificate. I think you need to put that somewhere safe. And also this photo. I got my coins. Oh, yeah, and your coins. We need to find somewhere safe oh, for this, don't we? I made. That's the picture you've been doing, isn't it? Maybe if you're feeling a little bit better, you might be able to do some more a bit later. But how, how lovely are these? My favourites are these. They're your favourites? Yeah, look at the reindeer. Oh, so cute. That was such a lovely letter too, Leo. Well done for being a good boy. Yeah. You're on the nice list. We knew you would be. So Leo has gone back upstairs now. I thought when he come down that maybe he's kind of perked up a bit. But yeah, it didn't last long. About 30 minutes later, he was just feeling really rubbish again. So he is now led back in bed. Um, so yeah, he's chilling up there and hopefully that's going to really help. So I've just come down and I was catching up on the... I'm trying to think what it's called now. The family diaries. I was going to say mummy diaries. 
um the family diaries with billy fairs i do enjoy watching that on itv so i was just catching up with that while i was having my cup of tea and my lunch um and then i suddenly remembered that when i changed the unit in my living room i took all my books off of the bottom of it and put them in a bag in the cupboard and then basically just forgot that they were there so i thought today might be the perfect day to kind of take them out of the cupboard and put them into my new sideboard so I've just been doing that, I've just started putting them in and then I thought actually today's probably going to be the perfect day for me to start a new book. Um, I have a few new ones that I haven't read and I keep saying oh yeah I'm going to sit down and read that and I just don't get round to it. But my problem is once I start a book I literally want to keep going and going until I finish it. But I thought actually today might be the perfect day to start one because obviously I am going to be at home where Leo's not feeling very well um, and then... The rest of this week um apart from tomorrow obviously depending how leo is i may be in work tomorrow i may be at home um but then after that i break up for christmas anyway tomorrow would be my last day so i thought this would be the perfect time to start a book while i'm gonna have plenty of time to read it um and i do enjoy reading i find it really relaxing but i have to get a book that's kind of like uh, yeah just something that i really enjoy so I tend to just go for very like rom com -y, love story type books um, and they're kind of all based in Greece. I'll show you. I'll turn around and show you the books I've got in a minute. Um, they're kind of like holiday books. So a lot of them are based in Greece. They're all kind of like summery. Um, but I absolutely love them because obviously Greece is my favourite place um so I feel like when I read them I kind of it takes me there um yeah just puts me in a real kind of feel good mood but then I also picked up a few other new ones um and one of them is more of like a wintry Christmas one so I'm not sure which one to go for today I feel like I should go for the winter one but then there's another book that I really really want to read let me turn the camera around and show you so these are the books that I've started putting in and you can probably spot the theme already um, like I said, they're all kind of summery, feel good, based in Greece. So I've got Single for the Summer, Those Summery Nights, One Last Letter from Greece, The Summer Trip, One Last Greek Summer, Desperately Seeking Summer, Truly Madly Greekly, um, My Greek Island Summer, um, The House in the Olive Groves and Under a Greek Moon. So obviously these are all based in Greece. Um, and these are all very summery, kind of feel-good reads. So I tend to read those in the summer. Um, yeah, I absolutely love those. A lot of them are from the same author. But yeah, I just really, really enjoy reading those. Um, and then these ones I actually picked up, I say recently, but I feel like it was last, might have even been like last Christmas now, and I just haven't got around to reading them. So I've got Love Lessons in Star Cross Valley. Um, which I haven't read yet, Under the Italian Sun. And then I've also got this one, which is The Little Swiss Ski Chalet. So I feel like this would be the perfect book for now. But this one is also new, which I haven't read. And I've been really, really looking forward to reading this. So this is the Emma Colwell, The House in the Olive Grove. And the last book I read was this one, which was um, Emma Colwell, One Last Letter from Greece. And I absolutely loved this. This was one of my favourite books I've ever read. Um, so, yeah, when she did this one, I really, really was wanting to read it. Um, and I actually got this one on Vinted. I think I paid like £1.50 for it on there. Um, yeah, so this is three women, three very different lives, one summer that they'll never forget. Um, and I just know that's going to be a real kind of feel good. It's going to take me back to kind of the summer and, yeah, make me feel like I'm in Greece. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And I really, really enjoyed this book. I really like how she writes. Um, but I feel like maybe I should hold off, even though I'm dying to read it, and go with the more wintry one because um, I'm sure I'll enjoy this just as much because I do love kind of like my Christmassy films. So maybe I will give this one a try. Um, so this one is, it's time to pack your bags and head to a breathtaking snow-covered peaks of the Swiss Alps for cosy hot chocolate, the yummiest cakes and a gorgeous love story. 
So yeah, I think maybe I will start this one and see how it goes. Um, and then you never know, I might finish this one and be able to start this one over Christmas too. Um, but yeah, I feel like maybe I should go for more of a Christmassy one. So I've really been enjoying this book. Um, I'm up to chapter seven now. And it's been nice just kind of sitting and reading this. Leo's just been relaxing on the sofa over there with the duvet. He is feeling a bit better, but just very tired. Um, but he hasn't been sick. And I've now put a Christmas movie on. This is just on the TV on channel five. Snowed in for Christmas. So yeah, really enjoying this so far. It's just very, very relaxing. Nice and peaceful. So I've just come into the kitchen now. I've been sat for a good few hours. I read my book, really enjoying that. And then I watched a Christmas film. Um, it was quite nice actually when I was doing my book because I literally put a Christmas scene on the TV with some very kind of um, quiet, Christmassy kind of instrumental music. Um, so it was just very, very relaxing. Leo um, still isn't feeling that great, but he hasn't been sick since this morning, which is good. And he's managed to keep some food down. He had some bread this morning, and then he did have um, some lunch, um, which he asked for, and that has stayed down also. So fingers crossed that is all the sickness now over with. Um, but obviously he's still feeling very tired and a bit achy. Um, so yeah, he's literally just been led on the sofa with the duvet, watching things on his iPad. Um, yeah, and just kind of being really, really chilled. Um, so hopefully by tomorrow he will be feeling a lot better. Hopefully he will have a better night's sleep tonight as well. Um, I've just come into the kitchen because I feel like I've been sat for a little while and I feel like I need to kind of move around a bit. Otherwise, I know come later, if I sit and watch another film, I will be getting really fidgety. Um, I do really like sitting and relaxing, but I do feel like I need to move around in between. I definitely can't sit all day because um, otherwise come the evening, I feel like I get a bit uncomfortable. Um, so I thought now, because I've watched two Christmas films, I've read a book, um, and I did actually watch a film in bed this morning. I feel like I need to move around and do something else now. So I've got some clothes on the area which are dry, so I'm going to fold those up and put those away. Have some washing up that I need to do um, from lunch, so I'm going to do that. The bedding from last night um, is washed and hung out and the towels that I washed are just finished um, so I need to get those out so yeah I'm just going to get all those things done and then it'll probably be time to start thinking about dinner I'm not sure what to do for dinner tonight I don't think Leo's probably going to eat much if anything um, even though obviously he did have lunch I don't think he's going to want like another full-on meal so I will see how he feels. So I'm going to have a look to see what I have in that I can cook for myself tonight. We were going to go over to my mum and dad's, but obviously with Leo not being very well, he's not going to be up to it. And obviously I don't want to pass it on to my mum and dad either. So yeah, it's just going to be a very, very quiet evening. Um, and then I will probably put something else on TV tonight, or I might read some more of my book not sure whether to watch another Christmas film or whether to see if there's a um, series or something on Netflix because I do like watching a series um, so yeah maybe something a bit different because I've watched lots of Christmas films already today so yeah I hope you have still enjoyed watching this vlog like I said it's just a very very chill day at home um, it's quite nice to not obviously be rushing around doing things it's quite nice to have the day off work I'm not gonna lie um, but obviously I wish Leo was feeling better than he is. It's not very nice feeling poorly. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed he will be feeling a lot better tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to crack on, get these clothes away, wash up um, and then make some dinner and chill. 
So I think I'm going to end this vlog here because obviously we're not really doing anything else the rest of the day. Um, and I feel like it's actually quite a long video already. Um, so apologies if it's literally just me chatting away um, all day. But yeah, I still wanted to do Vlogmas. So I hope you have enjoyed watching and I will see you again tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. Goodbye, everyone.